it's going to get you where you need to be. You can barely see the color of the rag, okay? I gotta say your ABCs, your one, two, threes. I got some back rows, okay? So I'm gonna get all in those back rows. Welcome back to 34 Shades of Meek. I am so glad to be back doing another video. So let's get straight into it. We are talking about hygiene, on a budget so i'm going to tell you how to thoroughly clean your body and what products you can use that are not very expensive and they're simple products you don't need a lot of products to smell good and to be clean so let's get straight into this video i forgot to mention this is a no judgment video so keep all negative comments away thank you we know what you put in your body is so important what you put in is gonna come out. So drink plenty of water. Water is gonna be your best friend when it comes to how you smell when you sweat. So always remember that. I got my water right here, by the way. So we can't forget the water, right? <laughs> Let's get straight into these tips. How your house smells is so important. It really plays off a good part in your smell so if your house is clean if it smells good you're gonna smell good and you're probably like how is that because the way your house smells is going to be on your clothes it's going to be in your hair and when you step outside you're gonna smell however your house smells you're gonna smell like so we want to make sure that we keep our house smelling fresh and clean at all times so you know this right here you're gonna use a good fabric softener okay fabric softener is going to have your clothes smelling so good now this is one of the fabric softeners that i use um this one is about eight dollars you wash your clothes okay you wash them clothes and then you're gonna put this in after you put your detergent in not wash your clothes but once you put your detergent in then you're gonna follow up with this okay this is going to be game changer okay i'm telling you so get this the downy as well the downy is so good oh my goodness it's, it's just so good so i know some of y'all know this but this is strictly for those that don't okay use this follow up with a good sheet the dryer sheet is going to help game changer all the way i'm telling you so throw a couple of these in there look i ain't even got no more Damn. i mean it's only one left but yeah you get it right so once we know that your clothes are smelling good smelling fresh all that then we are going to go into our hair now we know i, I mean at least i know i smell my hair when it wasn't fresh and baby listen Hair is very important and some people don't even understand that the way your hair smell plays a big part in your hygiene, okay? So you want to get you a shampoo and in your shower, if you want to wash your hair in the shower, you can. Me personally, I don't wash my hair in the shower. It's just, I gotta do too much with my hair. But this is for those that can wash their hair daily or more often than I do because I really don't wash my hair every day. You can use the VO5. It did good for my hair. I still use it. When I'm on a budget, I use this, okay? This is the VO5 Strawberries and Cream, and when I tell you it smells so good, okay? This is a new, this is a new shampoo. I have the conditioner as well. For my hair, I actually use more products to moisturize my hair texture and everything, but I just brought these out to let you guys know that it's 114 for each at Walmart. Okay, so it's budget friendly for sure. This is going to be a game changer in your hygiene, making sure your hair smells good, make sure that it's fresh. So when you start your in the shower routine, you're gonna wash your hair thoroughly because hair smells and we want our hair to smell good now for those that cannot wash their hair every day somebody like you know with my hair texture you can get you a dry shampoo a dry shampoo i don't have any right now because look i need to go hygiene shopping i need to get some more stuff okay 
and y'all can come with me. But anyway, <laughs> they have a lot of dry shampoos where you can touch up to get your hair smelling good. They have hair perfumes so you can spray it in your hair. It's actually made for your hair. So you can do that. And for those that can shower and wash their hair every day, you can do that as well. So you're gonna wash your hair real good. Then once you wash your hair good, you're gonna rinse that out, put your conditioner in. Let's get to after the conditioner step. You have your conditioner sitting in your hair. Now you are going to get that shower temperature water to your liking. If you like warm water, if you like hot water, not scoiling hot, but where you can tolerate it because you want that hot water or that warm water to make the shower steamy so that your pores can open up because opening up your pores is going to allow for your products to really work good because it's going to penetrate and it's going to really do what it needs to do. So once you adjust your water temperature to your liking, you're going to go in and you're going to thoroughly wet your body. Okay. You're going to wet it from, I mean, from everywhere all over under your arms if you have extra excess deodorant under there you're going to remove it right now we're not using any products we're just getting our body wet getting under our arms getting that wet turning around getting our back wet everything thoroughly wet okay once you do that then we're going to go in with our dial soap now hear me out i know people like to use loofahs and stuff and we're going to get to that step Okay, but right now we are doing the first cleanse and I think that using a washcloth is going to be the key to getting your body where it needs to when it comes to the cleanliness and how it smells. So we're going to take our washcloth and we're going to take our Dow Gold Bar, our Gold Bar Dow Soap. I love this soap. Okay, it is the like, it's going to get you where you need to be it's going to get all the dirt off the bacteria everything okay i love this gold bar now you're gonna take it and you're gonna get it real soapy get it under that water and get it real soapy okay i mean get a good lather so you can barely see the color of the rag okay so once you have your washcloth very soapy, we're gonna go in, we're gonna wash under our arms, okay? Now we're not gonna just go like this and then switch and go like this and then we're done with that part and we're gonna wash the rest of our body. We're going to thoroughly clean under our arms. If you gotta say your ABCs, your one, two, threes, why you doing this, just do it, okay? Cause we're going to get a thorough thorough wash under both arms okay once you're done doing that thorough wash under your arms because we want to remove the deodorant that that bacteria that sweat you know the smell that we have under our arms over the day we want to get all that up from under there okay and so after we do that we're going to rinse that part out or you can turn the rag use one side for your underarms and then flip it on the other side and then use it for your body but next we're gonna go in and we're gonna wash our body okay now you want to focus on all the creases okay all the creases your neck behind your ears so we're gonna focus on all the folds the folds from under your arm the back part of your arm you're going to want to focus on all of those folds and creases in our body on our body I forgot to mention with your belly button if you have a any make sure you get inside your belly button very well like me if you like me i got some back rows okay so i'm gonna get all in those back rows because we sweat in those areas especially in the warmer months okay so you want to really get all in those areas now i can't forget the breasts if you have a larger breast, okay, you want to lift up your breast and really get under there with that dowel, okay? Take your washcloth and you're going to really get up under there. Even if your breast is small, still focus on those areas, like your intimate areas, and you're going to just go under there very gentle in between your cleavage area. You're going to thoroughly wash everywhere from all the way all the way down okay we're going to wash all the way down in between our 
thighs because some are some people our thighs rub together okay so we're gonna do all that okay go all the way down to the bottom of your feet washing our legs our ankles in between our toes i mean we getting everything with that dial soap okay once you are done with the dial soap you are going to rinse your rack very good get all that dial product off okay rinse all those suds away if you want to you can go in with your dove bar okay now if you know dial soap really takes a lot of moisture from your body okay from your skin so you want to go in with a moisturizing soap or body wash so if you want to you can go in with your dial soap Okay, right after your, I mean, not your dial soap, your Dove soap. After you're done with the dial, you're going to go in and you're going to lather that up real good and you're going to wash thoroughly. If you don't want to do that, okay, we're going to move on to just the body wash. So you can do all of this in one. Instead of doing that after the dial soap with the second bar, just take your scrub. So we're going to take our exfoliating glove and our soft soap. I love this soft soap. Now don't sleep on it, okay? It, to some people it's like, oh, it's cheap, but it smells so good. They have so many different scents, but this is coconut butter scrub. And you could take this on your glove, put it on there, and you're going to get under your arms really good. And you're gonna just all over your body, all over your body. It's going to leave your body so soft. Okay, so you and did your dial. You went in either with this in your wash rag thoroughly again, or if you choose not to go in with the wash rag and the dove soap, you can go straight in with your exfoliating glove and your body wash, and it's going to leave your body thoroughly moisturized. Promise you. Okay, so once you rinse all of that off then you are getting ready to shave. If you are someone that shaves, you're gonna wanna go in with a razor. I mean, it's different ways to remove hair, but if you're going to do a razor, you're gonna wanna use a razor blade, a razor that has at least three or more blades. Three is just the cut, that's like the beginning. But you want to make sure it's more than three blades, not one or two blades. It has to be at least three or more. This is a six blade razor and I got it from Dollar Tree and it works great. You don't want razor bumps, so yeah. But you wanna go in with your shaving and then we'll go into the next step. After we have shaved and everything is all baby smooth, okay, we're gonna go into our last step of our hygiene shower routine we are going to wash our area okay so we got to get clean i use a second washcloth and i would suggest you use a second washcloth we're not going to use that washcloth that we use to wash our body with that dial soap and all that we're going to go in with a baby washcloth this is what i use because it's more gentle now this is some things that is something that i definitely picked up from some other ladies i was like wow because i was using when i did use a separate rag i was using another washcloth and it was more like on the rougher side for that area so i said hey i like the 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 um baby washcloth idea shout out to a lot of the youtube ladies that are putting out videos that's that are helping people out there with their hygiene. Um, and now I'm just adding to what's going on in the social media world. And I want to be a help for somebody as well as all of the ladies that are out there doing their thing. So I'm shouting all of y'all out. It's too many to name. I'm shouting y'all out. Thanks for the tips. And we just gonna keep doing this and helping people. This is not a baby washcloth. This is a cleaning rack. Right? But I'm washing my stuff right now, so I didn't have it. I should have had it for the video, but y'all know what a baby washcloth is. So we're going to go in with our next washcloth for our area. And we are going to go in with our feminine 
wash. Now this one is the Monistat Feminine Cleanser and it has boric acid in it. This is really good. This is fragrance free and it's pH balance. It's going to balance your pH and everything. This is very affordable but it's worth it and it lasts a long time. So you're gonna wanna go in with this. And if you don't use this, you can definitely go in with your Dove Sensitive Skin. This is fragrance free as well. Now me personally, I, I think that fragrance freeze is better you can use something with a slightly slight fragrance nothing strong like flowers and all this fruity smells no something that just has more of a fresh scent if it does have a fragrance but i would say go in with a fragrance free wash you are going to thoroughly wash your area okay of course we're going to do the back side too but that's for another video for us going into detail with all that but you're going to go in when you wash you're going to go inside the opening but not the hole okay we're going to go in like i need something to describe it but you guys know what i mean not inside the hole but inside the folds of our area you're going to cleanse it very well you want to do that at least two to three times it all depends on your body and your scent and everything because we know that it's self-cleansing down here okay so we don't want to do too much it's a self-cleansing but we still want to go in there with a, a feminine wash okay because we still have to clean down here i don't care what they say about water 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 no okay we sweat we have sweat glands and we don't want to just use water and and think that it's okay okay so after you have thoroughly cleansed that area then we are going to move on to our next step you are going to get you a clean towel and you are going to pat your body dry now with the patting dry we want to make sure that we get our our downstairs area our backside all that our underarms all those areas in between our toes all those places that can have moisture traps we're gonna really thoroughly make sure we dry those areas but very gentle under the breast everything we want to really get those areas good because sweat can trap in those areas and it can create a odor or a smell you know with that sweat and that moisture so we want to get those areas good after that you want to make sure you're patting your body dry you don't want to fully thoroughly dry those areas of your body arms all that because we want to make sure when we put our lotion on and everything that it penetrates and it it just makes your body smell better so you have dried your body off everything you feeling so good you smelling fresh and clean you feeling squeaky clean okay so we are gonna go in with our lotion now this doesn't really have that much of a scent but it is it still is like a fresh and it's going to moisturize your body it's the jergens ultra healing now they have these in so many different scents now this one is is bare is barely anything in it but it is very moisturizing and it says for extra dry skin and you can go in with this just as a base to moisturize your body if you don't do that you can go in with the EOS now this is one of my faves I have a couple more that I want to get but right now this is what I have this is the, the shea butter and it smells so good okay so you can go in with this and then you can top it with this this is the off brand this is the equate moisturizer care body gel and if you pair these together i'm telling you your body is gonna have a glow it's gonna smell so good oh my goodness it's like it's a game changer okay so once you put your body lotion on everything you're gonna wait at least about a good 15 minutes before you put on your clothes wait a good 15 minutes so your products can really get on your skin good because if you throw your clothes right away sometimes your body really isn't like we think it's dry but it's not 
not is not fully dry and we want those products to really stick to us so once you finally let everything sit and everything and you put your clothes on we're going to make sure we put our deodorant on we can't forget our deodorant now this is suave you know they have so many different deodorants but this works for me I mean, you know, I switch, I rotate from so many different products, from lotions to body washes to all kind of different stuff. But right now I'm using the Fresh Suave. I did have the powder, but I finished the powder one. So this is the fresh one. So we're gonna put that on real good, okay? We're not missing this step. This is very important. Once we go in with that, now we're going to take our body mist. This is a body mist by Bodycology. Now, I know a lot of people that know about um, perfumes, they're probably like, oh, well, that is not gonna last, it's not going, it's gonna go away. And that may be true. But see, this is the thing, this is a budget-friendly video. And a lot of people can't afford to pay expensive amounts of money for a perfume. Now, it is important to invest. If you really want to have a good smelling, long-lasting perfume, it's good to invest your money in those type of things. But if you are on a budget and you really can't afford it right now, you can get stuff like this that can last if you properly wash your body. Now I'm gonna tell you this step. Remember how I said how food sticks to your clothes? That's just like this stuff. If you spray this on your clothes, okay, and you are fresh and clean with some fresh clothes from your laundry, you're gonna smell good, okay? You're gonna have heads turning. Okay, because it's going to stick to your clothes. We're not putting this on our skin. We're only going to put it on our clothes. And I'm telling you, when that wind blow and you walk past somebody that, that sit down air, all that is going to smell good. And that's what we want. We want to smell good all the time, all day. Okay, like I said, you can get sprays, body mist from a lot of different places. They sell them so many places. Now, if you want to go up a little bit more on the price, but you're not trying to spend like $80 plus, $50 plus or whatever on a high-end perfume or even $100, we can start off with something that's like $20, $25. It just all depends on your budget. You can go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, all those stores that I named before, you can go to those places, even Walmart, okay? And just start off small and work your way up. And I'm telling you, once you do get to that point where you can invest in some good products, you're gonna be like, yes. But for now, these body sprays can do what it needs to do as long as you are clean, okay? Now, that is the end of this hygiene video on a budget. I hope you enjoy everything. Yeah. And let me know how y'all feeling with this video. I've always wanted to do this video and shout out to the emails that I got a lot of, well, I ain't gonna say a lot. It was a few people that asked me to do this video. And so here I am doing this video and I hope you enjoy. If you did like this video, subscribe, comment, and share this video, of course, because why wouldn't you? <laughs> so until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. It's your girl, Meek, and I'm out, ayy, and I'm out, ayy. <laughs>